several of our the fire chiefs that responded to this incident speak here about what happened. They were inside the missile silo. They said that this was one of the most dangerous rescues they've ever done in their entire career, and I want to let them describe what happened. So the first one we're going to have speak is Chief Richard Loveless. He's from the Deer Trail Fire Department. I'm also going to have Chief Richard Solomon speak. He's from Sable Altura. And then Travis Daniels right here. He's one of the firefighters that was down in the silo rescuing the young man. And then Chief Larry Rector from the Agate Fire Department is going to speak as well. So Richard, let me have you start. And if you can just share a little bit about your experience and what happened. So this started out as a technical rescue call. Somebody injured in the silo. We responded. As we were responding, we started calling other agencies to come in and assist with the, the technical rescue because we knew how dangerous it was inside. So you there's, I'll let these guys talk about that a little bit, but there's a lot of water, rust, wires hanging. This place has been abandoned since 65. And deputies have reported that this happened around 3.30. The property owners told us they got a call around like church time. So how long until you guys made contact with the uh, We got the call about 3.30 and we were out here in about 10 minutes.
that's when we that's when we turned around and followed his history.
it. Um, it's almost like nothing we can't do. And we have to do it because he's a good horse. So these guys that train, you can train on this every day. And you're not going to run across what you train for. It's always going to be a little different. And so uh, uh, it's just a way to adapt and overcome the situation. But the guys did it safely. They worked well together. And I'm really proud of them. I don't I don't I don't 